see Natasha Kamer, a woman gifted and anointed with a strong prophetic unction and destiny changing mandate. I speak as an oracle. Whatever the devil has taken from you, from your family, from your children, Jesus. I declare restoration. To deliver, equate, and empower people with the love of God. Your joy is coming back. Yes. Your health is coming back. Yes. Encounter the prophetic. Can I prophesy? I see your face, I see your case. My God! I see your case, I prophesy. Prophesy! I'm hearing a name in the spirit, and I'm seeing God has called your husband. But there has been so many delays, but the Lord is canceling the delay. Prophesy! I preach this song. Prophesy, Oracle! But the Lord says, the item that will be in your hand is not a microphone to preach. Prophesy! I am seeing like a saxophone, saxophone. Okay. Counter the miraculous. You will serve the purpose of God for yes. this generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Paragatoska, like Kabraske Magadeshka. See Paragatoska. There is a restoration. It's important to speak up because Jesus, in his earthly ministry, he cast out demons by the spoken word. He healed by the spoken word. Fearless generation, reaching Jesus, winning souls, making disciples. Raising leaders, depopulating hell and populating heaven. Any trap they have set in for the you, name of Jesus, any pit they have done my for us, they will enter themselves. Our generation is our responsibility. Any plan, any plot, any scheme, any agenda of the devil oh, against our life and destiny. Come on, we declare back to the center. Join me as a meek welcome, the Oracle of God, Reverend Lucy Natasha Carmel. I want you to open your mouth with expectation right now for 30 seconds. Open your mouth and tell the Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Just lift up your hands above your head. Jesus. To those that are watching us live from around the world, in North America, you are welcome. In Canada, you are welcome. Share the broadcast. All over Europe, UK, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, Belgium, France, Spain. Share the broadcast. Copy the link. Share to your friends. Share to your groups. In the name of Jesus, spread the fire. Spread the grace. All over, all over Asia, India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, China, Singapore, wherever you are. In the continent of Africa, South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Angola, Mozambique, Zambia, Malawi, Uganda, Tanzania, right here in Kenya, Uganda, wherever you are, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, all over the Middle East, Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, you are in the Caribbean, you are in Jamaica, the Bahamas, wherever you are, share the broadcast. The Lord spoke to me in this service and today I'm going to be preaching a prophetic word. Jesus take the wheel. Come on, touch three people. Tell them, Jesus take the wheel. Come on, give two people a high five. And tell them, Jesus take the wheel. I want you to stretch your hands to the altar. I'm going to make some prophetic decrees before I begin to preach. I don't know what you are going through. But God sent me here as an oracle. God sent me here as a messenger with a message. To those that are here and to those that are watching us live. That Jesus is about to take the wheel. In your life, in your family, in your business, in your career, in your health. Some of you are going through the storms. Some of you are going through the fires. But Jesus, Jesus. is about to take the wheel. I am here to tell you that your problem may be lasting, but it's not everlasting. Every problem has an expiry date. And Jesus is about to take the wheel. As you are lifting your hands, it means you are surrendering your life to God. You are surrendering your family, your children, your finances, your career, your ministry, your calling. It means you are surrendering it to God. I want us to declare seven times, Jesus, take the wheel. Are you ready? Yes, One, lift your hands, say, Jesus, Jesus take the wheel. Take the wheel. Two, say, Jesus, Jesus take, the wheel. take the wheel. Three, Jesus. Jesus. Just 
reaching your hands to this altar. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. In this service, God will favor you. As Jesus takes the will, you shall overflow. I declare you shall move forward. I declare you shall not be stranded in the journey of destiny. Jesus is taking the will. I declare wealth will locate your hands. Whatever was difficult before shall be made easy. In the name of Jesus, I declare as Jesus takes the will, your destiny shall not be delayed. Your destiny shall not be diverted. Your destiny shall not be destroyed. Lift up your hands. I stand on this altar as God's oracle. Yes, oracle. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of my voice. Prophesy. As Jesus takes the will, yes. your destiny shall not be delayed. Amen. Your destiny shall not be denied. Amen. Your destiny shall not be destroyed. Yes. Your destiny shall not be diverted. Amen. Jesus is about to yes. take the will. You will not be stranded in the remaining months of this year as Jesus takes the will in your life. I dismantle any roadblock to your destiny. I pull down every satanic stronghold and I stand to prophesy where men say there is a casting down. As for you and your household, there shall be a lifting up. I declare as Jesus takes the will in your life, receive your lifting, receive your favor, receive your victory, receive your miracle, receive your healing, receive the salvation of your loved ones, receive your high paying permanent job, somebody receive divine power, receive divine answers, receive divine helpers, receive financial favor, Receive divine visitation. Receive divine encounter. For those that are going through problems in their marriage. Jesus is about to take the will. For those that are going through problems in their workplace. Jesus is about to take the will. For those experiencing problems in their business. Jesus is about to take the will. For those that have been betrayed. Jesus is about to take the will. Oh, le pragadeshka. For those that are believing God for marital settlement, you are looking for a, a, a wife. You are believing God for your husband. Jesus is taking the will. For those that need a divine breakthrough, Jesus is taking the will. For those that need a financial miracle urgently, Jesus is taking the will. For those that are fighting legal matters and are looking for justice, Jesus is taking the, the will. For those that are believing God for healing, Jesus is taking the will. For those that need peace and tranquility, Jesus is taking the will. For that woman that needs the fruit of the womb, that couple, Jesus is taking the will. For those that are looking for God's intervention, Jesus is taking the will. For those that feel hopeless and helpless, Jesus is taking the will. Jesus is taking the will. I said he's taking the will. I said he's taking the will. I said he's taking the will. He's taking the will. In the name of Jesus. In this service, receive a positive turnaround. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, shout Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is taking the will. Tell your neighbor, you will be a barrier breaker. A line crosser. Hey, somebody say, Jesus. Just as you're seated, lift your hand and say, Jesus. Take the will. Say, Jesus. In my life, take the will. That means Jesus, take control. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus. Take, control. take control. You know, I love it when Jesus takes control. Because what is above you is below God. This is a prophetic word that God laid in my heart. And I want us to go to Matthew 
chapter 4 verse 35 to verse 39 follow me because I'm taking you somewhere and I'm also going to be praying for you uh, I'm going to be anointing each one of you that is going through a storm because Jesus is about to take the wheel some of you you know you don't even know what to do you know when you don't know what to do let Jesus take the wheel somebody said Jesus take the wheel some of you nothing is moving nothing is working in your life but Jesus is about to take the wheel some of you are in a debt crisis you don't even know how to get out of that situation some of you are in between a, a tight corner and a hard place but Jesus is about to take the wheel. Some of you, the doctors have given you a bad medical report, but Jesus is about to take the wheel. Somebody lift your hand and say, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, I want you to mention that situation in your life. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus. Jesus. Take, the wheel in my life. take the wheel in my life. Just lift your hand and say, Jesus. Jesus. Take the wheel in my finances. Take the wheel in my finances. Take the wheel in my, in my career Jesus, Jesus. take the wheel in my ministry say Jesus take the wheel say Jesus take control take control my trust is in you my hope is in you say Jesus take control take the wheel take the wheel take the wheel take the wheel to those that are watching us live around the world as you are sharing this broadcast begin to type and declare Jesus take the wheel take the wheel take the wheel God send me here for somebody Mark chapter 4 I want to read verse 35 to verse 39 Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to verse 39. My message is entitled, Jesus take the wheel. Watch this now. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let's cross over to the other side. Aha, uh -huh, continue. Aha, uh -huh, let's continue. Let me read it here, verse 36. Now when now when they had left the multitudes, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. Continue. And a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Uh -huh. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Uh huh. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Somebody said, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. I came here with a prophetic mantle to tell somebody that is going through a storm. That the storm will not stop you. Amen. Somebody said the storms will not stop me. The storm will not stop you. You will drive through the storms of life. Now follow me because I'm taking you somewhere. The Bible says when evening had come, Jesus said to them, let's cross over to the other side. I am praying prophetically for somebody here and somebody watching that in this service, somebody will cross over to the other side. Amen. That if you are unemployed, you will receive a high paying permanent job. From poverty to prosperity. Ah, from enduring to enjoyment. I receive. From devastation to restoration. I, I am praying that somebody will cross over to the other side. Oh, yes. From sickness to hell. Amen. I said somebody is crossing over to the other side. From a tenant to a landlord. Amen. From a miss to a missus. Prophesy. From single to marriage. Yes. May somebody cross over to the other side. From over. glory to glory. glory From to glory. power to power. power to From power. grace to grace. grace. I am praying that somebody will cross over to the other side. Oh, From test to testimony. Amen. From breakdown to breakthrough.
through from trials to triumph I, I am praying tonight that somebody will cross over to the other yeah. side from mockery to victory from insults to results yeah. I am praying for somebody to cross over to the other cross side the take other a step side. and say I'm crossing over, crossing to, over. The to the other side I'm crossing over, I'm crossing over. to the other side Ah, from pain to celebrating from lamentation to laughter from disappointment to appointment from disgrace to grace I say tonight in the name of Jesus I came as an oracle with miracles to decree and declare we are crossing over to the other side from financial struggles to financial breakthroughs I said from financial struggle to financial overflow to financial freedom we are crossing over to the other side from barrenness to fruitfulness yeah. from delay to speed we are crossing over to the other side touch three people tell them I'm crossing over somebody say I'm crossing, I'm crossing over I'm crossing over I'm crossing over I'm crossing over sit down watch this the Bible says when evening had come Jesus said to them let's cross over to the other side this is Jesus that said to them and today I come as a messenger with a message to say let's cross over ECC to the other side Tell your neighbor life has, life has two sides. Come on, tell your neighbor life has, life has two sides. So listen to me, never conclude on one side when there is another side available. Life has two sides. And tonight in the name of Jesus, we are crossing over to the other side. By the power of the word, we are crossing over to the other side. Jesus is about to take the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. watch this now when evening had come I love this when evening had come Jesus said to them let's cross over to the other side there are people that are in an evening season everything seems dark in your life but God is about to change your story look at your neighbor tell them there is an evening season, it's an evening season. when everything seems dark in your life Nothing is working, nothing is moving. Too much labor but no result. It's an evening season. But there is another side. Watch this now. And the Bible says in verse 37 that a great windstorm arose. Hey, you know the fact that you are a believer does not exempt you from the storm. Watch this. And a great windstorm arose. And the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Just because you are a believer, that does not exempt you from going through storms. Just because you are anointed or you are speaking in tongues, that does not exempt you from storm. And a great witch storm arose. There are people here that have been wondering why am I going through a storm? I have been praying. I have been fasting. I have been giving. I have been sowing. I want you to know the storms are there to display the faithfulness of God. The storm is not to destroy you. The storm is to display the power of God. Watch this now. A great witch storm arose. Le Pragadeshka. And the disciples were worried. Can I have us that he ate? The disciples were worried. Look at this. And the Bible says that now this is Jesus. And he was in the span asleep on a pillow. My God. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? There are people that are seated here. It's like things are going from bad to us. And you're wondering, Jesus, teacher, master, don't you care that this is happening to me? I need you to understand something. Jesus is always in control. Even when you cannot trust him, trust him. Yes. Look at somebody, tell them, even when you cannot trust him. Even when you cannot trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Somebody say, I trust you. I trust him. Yeah, say, 
say I trust you. I trust you. I'm here to challenge somebody. Don't be a complainer. Yeah. Complainers are not obtainers. Yeah. When you complain, you explain your pain for no gain. Right when you complain, you remain. But when you pray, you rise. The disciples complain. They say, teacher, Jesus, don't you care that we are perishing? I want you to know his silence is not his absence. Because he was still there. He was in the stand asleep on a pillow. Because he knew he had power over the storm. What is above you is below God. Your problems may look big. But when it comes to God, he's bigger than your problem. He's bigger than your storm. Yes, yes. He's bigger than your situation. Yes, yes. Touch three people. Tell them my God is bigger. God is bigger. Oh, yes. Somebody yes. tell your neighbor don't be a complainer. Don't be a complainer. Don't be a complainer. Don't be a complainer. When you complain you remain. You remain. But when you praise you raise. Hey. Complainers are not obtainers. Ah. When you complain you explain your Jesus. pain for no gain. I want you to make up your mind. Yes. No matter the storm, yes. even when I cannot trust Jesus, ah. I will trust him will trust because him. he is taking the wheel. Yes. He's taking the control. Yes. He's taking the lead. Yes. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus. Take, the take the wheel. Lift your hands and Jesus, Jesus. Take, the take the wheel. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Say, Jesus. Watch hey. verse 39. Fire. Shalos Calabras. Jesus. Somebody say, I refuse to be a complainer. I refuse to be a complainer. There are people that will always complain about everything. The only thing they forget is that there can never be a glory without a story. God is just allowing you to go through the story. Tell your neighbor, don't judge me by my story. Because my glory will be revealed will be in revealed. my story. Oh, hey. Hey. When you see the glory, uh -huh. ask, the story. ask the story. There can never be a glory without hey, a story. That's right. So uh -huh. anybody that is writing you off based on your story uh -huh. is making a big mistake. Uh -huh. a big mistake. Uh -huh. hey, Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus. take the wheel. Take the wheel. Say Jesus, Jesus take, control. take control to those that are watching us live yeah. wherever you are I want you to declare in your car in your office in your house oh, wherever you are across the nations of the world declare Jesus, Jesus. take the wheel, take the wheel. Jesus. Jesus take control, take control. they ask Jesus don't you care that we are perishing. You know, as human beings, sometimes you can go through a situation. Because according, can I have verse 38? I believe according to the disciples, the way they saw the windstorm. Because the Bible says, and a windstorm arose. My God. And according to how they evaluated it and analyzed it, they saw hapa to meisha. Salamia jiraniya kumambia, hapa to meisha. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That is what, according to the disciples, they made a conclusion based on their evaluation of the situation. I want you to know, don't tell your condition uh, that when you look at your condition, I don't want you to see your condition as big. I want you to see God as bigger than your yeah. condition. Watch this. And they are walking and say to him, let's read that together. Teacher. Do you not care that we are perishing? Some of you are here. Some of you are watching. You are saying, Lord, don't you care that I'm sick? Don't you care that I'm unemployed? Don't you care that I cannot have the fruit of the womb? Don't you care, you know, that I'm struggling? There are people here that my family is under affliction. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Psalms 34, 19. But God delivers him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God delivers him out of them all. The Lord has told us it is true we will go through affliction the storms, the fires, but he has assured us he will deliver us out of them all. Let's see verse 39, verse 39. 
May verse 39 become a reality in your life. Somebody say, I claim it. I receive it. As I am anointing you today, I will be releasing verse 39. And those that are watching us at home, prepare your oil. Because verse 39 is about to happen in ECC. It is about to happen in your life. Watch this. And he arose. Now this is Jesus. And rebuke the wind and say to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Oh, Shala Bragadoska. Somebody say, I receive verse 39. Somebody say, I receive verse 39. Come on, say it with power. Say, I receive verse 39. I prophesy verse 39 over your life. I decree and declare yes, in the name of Jesus, oh, yes. may God arise and rebuke sickness. Amen. May God arise. God arise. Somebody say, arise, O oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. And, let and let our enemies be scattered. Say, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. Arise and rebuke poverty. Arise and rebuke, arise and rebuke rejection. Arise and rebuke rejection. Say, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. Arise and rebuke failure. Arise and rebuke say, failure. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Say Jesus. Take the wheel. Say Jesus. Take the wheel. Say Jesus. Take the wheel. Take control. In my life. In my family. Take the wheel. And Jesus arose. And he rebuked the sea. Today in this service I prophesy He will arise and rebuke stagnation He will arise and rebuke setback He will arise and rebuke generational curses He will arise and rebuke infirmity In the name of Jesus And the Bible says And the wind ceased And there was no more wind I decree and declare yes. as Jesus is taking the wheel, yes, your problem is coming to an end. Amen. I don't know who has been praying and crying to God, but I hear the Lord say as he spoke to the sea, God is speaking to your situation. Amen. He is speaking to your finances. Amen. God is speaking to your health. Amen. God is speaking to your destiny help us. Amen. As he spoke to the sea, mm. you know, God has not changed. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. He's the ancient of days. I declare as he spoke to the wind and the wind ceased. Yes. May he speak to every infirmity. Amen. May he speak to every area of your life. Amen. May he speak to your health. Oh, yes. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. And the Bible says, put verse 39 on screen. And there was a great calm. Watch this. And he said to the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Somebody said there was a great calm. There was a great calm. I speak over your life. Lift up your hands as you're seated. I prophesy no more sleepless nights. Prophesy. No more insomnia. Amen. No more worries in the name of Jesus. No you will live in peace. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Amen. I prophesy calm in your family. Calm in your marriage. Calm in your business. God is about to lift you up. Amen. God is about to sit you with the great. Amen. God will give you a, a testimony beyond your test. Amen. God is about to move you from grass to grace. Oh, yes. God will turn your demotion to promotion. Amen. I said and there shall be a great calm. Amen. I said there shall be a great calm. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear the Lord say. Yes. Your situation is about to respond to the voice of God. Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Tell them your situation. Is about to respond to the voice of God. Is about to respond to the voice. Tell your neighbor what is above you. What is above you is below God. Is below God. Tell your neighbor, Jesus. Jesus. Take the wheel. Take, take the, the wheel. wheel. Jesus. Jesus. Take control. Take control. This is a service when we are allowing Jesus to take the wheel. At ECC as a ministry, Jesus take the wheel. In our lives, take the wheel. Take the will, take the will. Now there are four things I want to say before I go into prayer. For everyone that is going through a storm in your life.
Because there are people here than people that are watching us, that are going through a storm in their life. And I want you to know these four things, even when you are in the storm, they show that God is with you. Because sometimes when we go through the storm, you know, our glory is revealed in our story. That is why I always tell you there can never be a glory without a story. That is how our God works. And some of you are in a storm season. But when you are in a storm like the disciples, you may feel like you are perishing. You may feel like it is over. The disciples even complained and said, teacher, master, don't you care that we are perishing? Some of you, your situations have moved from bad to worse. Whatever you've been praying for, nothing is working. Nothing is moving. It's like you are just going on the decline. Your business is declining. Your relationships are declining. Everything in your life seems to be declining. But I want you to know in that storm, God will be revealed in your storm. And how do you know that God is with you in the storm? If you experience these four things in your life, then I need you to know that God is with you. Are you listening to me? Number one, supernatural protection and preservation. Can I have Psalms 33? It says, but you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Supernatural protection and preservation. And I pray for everyone here and everyone watching us. Yes. Supernatural protection and preservation. In the remaining days of this year, yes. no matter the storms, the fires you will go through. Yes. In Psalms 23, 4, the Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me i decree and declare over your life yes. in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i jesus. declare supernatural protection and preservation Amen. somebody i want you to lay your hands on your head Amen. even those that are watching me from around the world Amen. declare preservation and protection preservation supernatural protection. protection and preservation he says in isaiah 43 to when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burnt Amen. nor shall the flames scorch you I decree and declare yes. the glory of God shall become your shield Amen. I declare put your hands on your head La paragadeshka. if you can speak in the Holy Ghost speak in the Holy Ghost I declare God is with you through the fires through the many waters the fire has no power over you the enemy will not have power and influence over you there is a way that God delivers that becomes a signature of his power I decree and declare supernatural protection and preservation in Jesus mighty name somebody say even in the storm even in the storm I receive I receive supernatural protection and preservation supernatural protection and provision I want you to know even when you are going through the storm I want you even when you cannot trace him trust him because you know there will be supernatural protection and preservation somebody says supernatural protection and preservation supernatural protection and preservation. I remember one time we were flying from Nairobi flying into New York and it's a 15 hour direct flight from Nairobi to New York and along the journey you can imagine being on a 15 hour flight Nairobi I was going to preach in New York for a conference and I was with my PA and as uh, along the way after flying for about eight hours you know, the, 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 the pilot announced everybody. He gave that call for everybody to fasten their safety belt. And he said, there is going to be a heavy, turbulent weather and thunderstorms. And you can imagine there, there is no place of return. Amen. Tell your neighbor, there is no place of return. There is no place of return. And I remember the first thing that happened is that uh, we just, we were on this height. And because of the thunderstorms that were, that were, that were there because the weather was so bad. I remember in one instant the flight just uh, moved like from this height. Suddenly we just, you can imagine that feeling. The flight dropped to this and the whole aircraft everybody was like jesus others were shouting their mother's name others were shouting different things others were repenting and at that instant my pa was holding her head 
she was saying oh my god it will not end like this and i looked at her and i said to her we have a covenant of protection and preservation yeah. and the I told her if there is a God in heaven, we cannot be preaching the gospel and we die in an aircraft. No and you know, it became worse. The pilot said the turbulent weather is going to take one hour. Bad turbulent weather. That was the worst flight we have ever had. And we continue to pray. People were in a panic mode in the entire flight. And my personal assistant asked me, how come you look so calm and you can see death is calling? I told her, we cannot die by accident. Yeah, no we cannot die by witchcraft. No we cannot die by evil arrow. No we cannot die when our feet are taking the gospel. No I told her we have a covenant yeah. of protection and preservation. Oh and suddenly after five minutes, remember the pilot had announced that the turbulent weather was going to go for more than one hour. Suddenly he said, everything has stabilized. You can relax. Ah, you can unbuckle your seatbelts and you can be served whatever you want. Oh, because That's as we were in the air, I was saying, oh Lord, remember your covenant of protection and preservation. Yes, I want you to know even in the storms hey. don't panic in the storms oh, yes. what is above you is below God oh, yes. you have the covenant of protection oh, and preservation yes. somebody say oh Lord oh, oh, Lord. oh Lord. Lord activate your covenant of protection and preservation even the pilot could not understand how yes. the air cleared mm. Ah, look at your neighbor tell them neighbor Neighbor. In the storms of life, the storms of don't, life. Panic. don't panic. Yeah, tell your neighbor, stay, yeah. alive. stay alive. Touch three people, tell them, stay alive. Stay alive. And I'm here to announce yeah. over yeah. everyone that is under the sound of my voice, yes, my we shall survive the storms. Oh, yes. We shall not die prematurely. We shall not go to an early yeah. grave. Oh. We shall not die before oh. our time. We shall I declare we shall live and not die. Yes. Yes. To declare the works of the Lord in yes. the land of the living. Yes. I declare Psalms 91 16 yes. that with long life the Lord will satisfy yes. us yes. and show us his salvation. Yes. I decree and declare yes. you are not permitted to die prematurely. Yes. Tell your neighbor at 90, at 90 you will be playing golf at 90. Oh, golf you will at 90. be flying for vacations ah, at 95. Yes. Somebody say, I will be full of age and full of strength. I will be full of age and full, full of strength. strength. Tell your neighbor, uh, you will celebrate your 97th birthday. You will celebrate your 97th birthday. Because we are operating yeah. under covenant. Yeah. We are operating yeah. under covenant. Yeah. So as everybody was shaken in that flight, oh, my, my personal assistant could not understand how calm I am. Uh -huh. It was not because I was not scared because of what is happening. It is because I was operating by revelation. Yeah. Ah, I was not operating by the information from the pilot. Uh, uh, uh. Tell your neighbor, operate from a place of revelation. Operate from a place Somebody of revelation. Somebody shout fire. 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 Shout fire. 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 Number two, you will be immune to any arrows that flies during the day or the night. Uh -huh. When God is with you in the storms, you will be immune. Tell your neighbor, you will be immune. You will you be will immune. Be. Can you give me Psalms 91 verse 5 to verse 7? You will be immune. Somebody said from today, I receive divine immunity. I receive divine immunity. I receive divine immunity. I receive divine immunity. To any arrow. To any arrow. That flies during the day and the night. Through the day or through the Watch night. this. You shall not be afraid. Of the terror by night, mm. no of the arrow that flies by day, uh huh. Mm. No of the pestilence that walks in darkness, no of the destruction that lays waste and no at yeah. noonday, uh huh. Concluded now, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Somebody say immunity. immunity. Somebody say divine immunity. Divine immunity. Somebody say divine immunity. Divine immunity. I declare over 
over your life. Watch, yes. When the enemy seeks to reach out to you and harm you, My God. God's presence shall become your covering. Amen. Your life is hidden in God. Watch, yes. Arrows can come from all directions, uh -huh. but they will not have any effect or impact on yeah. you. Amen. Shout fire! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout fire! fire. fire. Shout fire! Sit down as I give you the remaining two and we pray. Oh my God. Hot. Ah. Oh, of God. Tell your neighbor, stay alive. Stay alive. You are under covenant. You are oh, under covenant. covenant. Stay yeah. alive. Stay alive. Chateau Scalabros. Number three. When God is with you, even in the storm, he will give you divine rest. Somebody said divine rest. Divine rest. Can you imagine a storm? A windstorm had arose, but Jesus was at the stand, lying and sleeping on the pillow. Somebody in the midst of a storm, Jesus was sleeping. Ah, somebody said divine rest. Divine rest. I am praying for somebody here. Because you are not in crisis, you are in Christ. Oh, yes. When Christ is with you, no matter what you are going through, uh -huh. you are not in crisis. I'm not in Somebody crisis. say, I'm not in crisis. I'm not, not in crisis. crisis. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Come on, say it three times. I'm not in crisis. I'm not, I'm not in crisis. crisis. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. So he gives you divine rest. Somebody say divine rest. Divine rest. Divine rest. You know, the presence of God. Gives you divine rest in the midst of being surrounded by afflictions and troubles. May God give you rest over your long-standing problems. Amen. I said, may God give you rest. Lift your hands and say, oh Lord, oh Lord. Give me rest on every side. Give me rest. Rest on in my career, side. in my family, in yes, my... Lord, oh Lord, give oh me Lord. rest. Give me rest, Lord. Give me rest. Give me rest. In the remaining months of this year, yes, Lord. I don't know who I came for and who God sent me yeah. here for. But I know God sent me here for somebody. Yes, oh, I declare God. receive divine rest. I receive it. I receive And lastly, number four. When the Lord is with you, even in the storm, he brings supernatural favor. Somebody say favor. Favor. I want to have Genesis 39.2. And Genesis 39, 21. I want to look at Joseph. You know, even when you are going through a storm, when God is with you, you will still experience supernatural favor. Amen. Joseph went through the pit, Potiphar's house. He went through the prison. But yet he still experienced supernatural favor wherever he was. Let's have Genesis chapter 39 and verse 2. The storms will not stop the favor of God. You will be favored even when you are in the prison. Ah, right. Can I have 39 verse 2 and then 39 21. The Lord was with Joseph. Somebody said the Lord is with me. The Lord, the Lord is, is with me. me. The Lord was with Joseph. And he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. My God, the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. I am praying for somebody that even through the storm, the Lord will be with you. Everybody else may leave you, but may the Lord be with you. May the Lord be with you. Can I have verse 21? Oh, Shalabroska. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. The, the verse 2, by this time he was with uh, Potiphar. By this time again now, he is in the prison. Everywhere he went, he experienced supernatural favor through the storms and through the fires. I am praying for somebody. You know, the favor of God is the undeniable hand of God in a man or a woman's life. That is the favor of God. The favor of God is a divine assistance. Heaven helping you. Heaven's and endorsement on your life. I pray for somebody, even through the storms yes. in your life, in your family. Yes. May the favor of God be upon you. Amen. I declare supernatural favor. Supernatural I say favor. supernatural favor. Supernatural As favor. the Lord was with Joseph and made him a prosperous man, yes. so shall it be on your life in the name of Jesus. I, I want you for 30 seconds, lift your hands. I want you to pray that Lord, as I am in the storm, oh, shall I ask Give me these four things. Lord, give me supernatural protection and preservation. Lord, 
Give me divine immunity to any arrow that flies by day or by night. Give me divine rest. Give me supernatural favor. Oh, yes, Ask the Lord for these four things. Oh, Rapakatos Kalabros. The Lord showed Joseph mercy. Somebody pray a prayer of mercy. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Zegedesh Kalabras. Under this anointing, I feel in my spirit we need to give a prophetic seed. We are giving a prophetic seed on this altar to enter into covenant with God over these four things, supernatural protection and preservation, divine immunity from the arrows that fly by day or by night, divine rest and supernatural favor. Whatever is your prophetic seed, I want you to hold it. If it's on your mobile device, hold your mobile device. If it's on your bank card, there is a kingdom hostess here with the PDQ machine. To the sons and daughters online, empowerment nation, sons and daughters globally, global partners. I want you to hold a prophetic offering in your hands. And there are some that are saying oracle. I'm entering into covenant with God. I'm giving a prophetic seed of $40. $40. I'm seeing 21 of you. I want to speak to you one-on-one -on -one via video call after this live broadcast. $40. 21 of you. 21 of you. Take the WhatsApp number on your screen. You are saying, oh Lord, today, I enter into covenant with you by my sacrifice. You have the $40 now. I want you right now. Hold it and you can give it on PayPal. You can give on PayPal anywhere in the world. You can give on web via M-Pesa. You can also give your seed on M-Pesa to those that are in East Africa. Connect to this altar. Distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. I want everybody, you have that prophetic seed. And as we are giving that seed, as you touch this altar, you are going to make a prophetic decree. I want you to make a prophetic decree. As you are touching this altar, I want you to declare, today is my day. Today I enter into covenant with God for me and my family. That seed you are sowing, it will speak for you and your family. And those that are giving their partnership seed also for 1,000 to support God's work. You have 1,000 Kenya shillings. I want to anoint your hands. Come, as others are coming, we shall begin with this side. Those that are giving... Can I, have, can I have the song that I'm the one that the Lord has shown mercy? You have shown mercy. Can I have the oil? You have shown me mercy. You have that prophetic seed of 1,000 to support God's work also come at this time on this side. I'm the very one. Oh! You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy, oh. You have shown me mercy. On this side also, if you have your seed of 1,000, come, I touch your hands before everybody else comes. If it's on your phone, you check the ministry and pass a line. Lay it there, then bring you your hands. Go and succeed. Yes, you Go and succeed. Go Say and succeed. I'm the one, Lord, I'm oh! I'm the one. You have shown If you have your seed, touch the altar. You Touch the altar. You have 500 come. I also want to anoint your hands. Those that have 500 come. Say I'm the one. Yeah. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. In Psalms chapter 50 verse 5 The Bible says Gather my people together Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice If you give and it doesn't touch you It is not a sacrifice If you give David said I will not give God anything that does not cost me If you give and it does not move you It is not a sacrifice Sacrifice is what you give And it moves you and touches you I want you today to say oh Lord on this day, I enter into covenant with you. 
and there is 21 people that are watching me live. Tonight I'm having a special one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm also going to be having the midnight prayer. Wherever you are in America, Australia, Canada, all over the Middle East, all over Europe, all over Africa, this is your moment of destiny. God has mandated me to speak to you one-on-one -on -one via video call. And everybody don't miss tonight's midnight prayer. I have a word from the Lord. And even those that are here, please make sure you are connected to our official social media platforms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rev Lucy Natasha. Go to Facebook. All our social media platforms are verified with a blue tick. So that when we are live, we don't want people to be testifying. People are always giving testimonies from the Bahamas, Jamaica, America, Canada, Australia, all over Europe, all over the Middle East. Saudi Arabia. People are always testifying from Dubai, Africa, South Africa, Namibia, right here in Kenya, in different parts of the world, Uganda, Tanzania, wherever you are, I want to pray for you one-on-one -on -one via video call. Take the WhatsApp number on your screen. I want to pray for tithers, then I go into the anointing session. If you're here, you are a tither. Lift up your hands. If you're here, you are a tither and you need an envelope. If you're giving on your mobile device, even those that are watching us live, if you're giving on your mobile device, those that are here, please check the ministry and PESA line and the ministry pay bill number. Those that are giving via their bank cards, their kingdom hostess is here. If you're writing a check, make it payable to Empowerment Christian Church, to the partners online, the sons and daughters of this commission. As you are giving your tithe on this altar, I want you to know your tithe honors God. Your tithe is in obedience to God's word. Your tithe makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. It is your tithe that brings judgment to the enemy of your prosperity. You can give your tithe on paper. The link is pinned on the comment section of this live broadcast. It is on your screen. You can give on way via Mpesa. You can also give on Super Chat to those that are on YouTube. Click on Super Chat and give right now in the name of Jesus. It is your tithe that gives God the authorization to rebuke the devourer. You need an envelope. Lift up your hands. God says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. I always tell you, when you get what you prayed for, I don't want you to forget God. God is honored by your faithfulness. When you give God what belongs to him, he keeps the devil from touching what belongs to you. But many people, we forget God when we get what we prayed for. We pray for jobs. We pray for promotion. We pray for business capital, business breakthrough. The minute it comes, we forget God. But tithe is not only biblical, it is fundamental. It is the connection to the protection of your finances. When you give God what belongs to him, he keeps the devil from touching what belongs to you. I want you to purpose in the remaining days of this year that I am entering into covenant, the God of the oracle, the God of ECC, that this altar will speak on my behalf. Somebody wave your hand say, may I never forget God. Never forget God. When I get what I prayed for. I get what I prayed for. You get a job, now you cannot give your tithe. You get a promotion, you cannot give your tithe. Your tithe is the connection to the protection of your finances. I want you, if you're here, you have your tithe, make your way to the altar. I want to declare the blessing of God upon your life. You know, the survival of the 90% is determined by the tenth that you give to God. I love our father of faith Abraham. He was a tither. Can you imagine from our father of faith Abraham, he understood tithe is the foundation of prosperity. In Genesis 14, 18, 20, when he met Melchizedek, he gave a tithe of all and he entered into covenant with God. You are here, you are a tither. Before we go into the anointing session, come to the altar. Can we sing that song? I'm the one that God has shown mercy. I'm the one. You have shown mercy. Oh, you have shown me mercy. Lord, you have shown Jesus, me take mercy. the wheel and show me mercy. Oh, yeah. take the when wheel, you Jesus. Take the wheel. Shall I bros, you show me mercy. Paragados. So come and take the Se wheel. Paragades, come and show me. Show me mercy. Yeah. Oh. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Father, you 
I bless every tiger. I decree and declare the struggle is over. I decree and declare Li Paragadesh Kalabros. The same place you were disgraced. May God give you grace. The same place you were disappointed. May God give you an appointment. I declare the, wa the works of your hands will be rewarded. Whatsoever you put your hands on will manifest. I decree and declare you will do exploits this year. I declare in the remaining days of this year, God will establish you and prosper you. I break the spirit of stagnation. You will rise. You will be lifted in honor. I declare access for you. You will possess the gates of your enemies. The gates of nations and continents. I declare a season of turnaround for you. What the enemy stole shall be restored. God shall turn your shame to glory. Your failure to success. In the name of Jesus. Go and be home owners. Go and be home owners. Go and be business owners. Your sons and daughters will be business owners. Go and prosper. Go and excel. Go and succeed. May God raise you as kingdom millionaires and billionaires. In Jesus name. It is done. God bless you. To the givers online, receive the tithe as blessing. As you are releasing your tithe on PayPal. As you are releasing your tithe. And the only PayPal link is the one that is on your screen. And that is pinned on the comment section of this live broadcast. As you are giving your tithe on PayPal, on Wave, on M-Pesa. As you are giving right now, may God increase you. May God multiply you. Remember 21 of you. I am mandated by heaven to speak over your life. Hear me as I hear the Lord. You are seasoned and your time has come. Take the WhatsApp number now. Don't call the number. Send a WhatsApp message. Amen. Can we be upstanding in the presence of God? Can we be upstanding? This coming Sunday, we are going to be having the first Sunday of seven prophetic Sundays. Tell you how many people were blessed in the previous prophetic Sundays we had. Amen. Sunday, I'm going to be walking around as I minister and prophesy to people. I see your face. I see your case. I see your case. I prophesy. God is still speaking. He says in the last days, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. The sons and the daughters will prophesy. This Sunday, this Sunday, it is going to be corrosive. It is going to be life changing. Jesus is taking the wheel. Somebody say, Jesus. Jesus. Take control. control. Say Jesus. Jesus. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Are you listening to me? This coming Sunday, come with your family, your friends. We are not going to be having a, a, a Miracle Monday in-person service because of the demonstrations that will be happening. But we continue to pray for our nation that there will be no, you know, goons are also taking advantage of this season and so many businesses were vandalized. But we are praying that peace will prevail in this nation. We are praying that God will make a way that uh, the glory of God will come Kenya divine intervention that God will rule in the affairs of our nation we are praying for the nation of Kenya we are standing in the gap but this and even Sunday will have a special time of praying for the nation of Kenya but I'm still requesting all of us uh, on Monday let's tune in online tell your neighbor on Monday on Monday. The service is exclusively online. The service is exclusively So it is online. only Sunday we are going to gather. So please on Sunday be here. I'll be here on time yes. so that I can move and navigate. I'll also be prophesying to the online people. It is going to be so corrosive and life changing. I don't want you to miss your moment of destiny. Don't let the devil send you on an errand on Sunday. Tell your neighbor don't allow the devil to send you on an errand. You know some people, the day God has purpose to locate you, that is the day that Satan sends you on an errand and you miss the season of your visitation. You will not miss. Somebody say, I will not miss. I will, I will not, not miss. miss. My season of visitation. My season, My season of visitation. Amen. Amen. So lastly, uh, I want you, if you're here, you're watching us before I pray and we go to the anointing session. You have not given your life to Jesus. This is the greatest of all miracles. We are the Jesus people. We are not ashamed of the 
the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation. If you are not saved, you are not saved. If you are not in Christ, you are in crisis. You are not complete until you are completely in Christ. And I want the believers to help those that are praying this prayer for the first time. Those that are rededicating their life. Can we all say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, am I am a sinner. I receive you today receive you as today. my Lord and Savior. My Lord and Write Savior. my name in the book of life. Write my name Wash me with your blood. Wash me with Receive me as your child. Receive me as your child. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. To those Amen. that have prayed that prayer and you are here, congratulations. After this service, we want you to see Pastor Monica. Those that have given their life to Jesus. Those also that are here that desire to serve God with us in any department. We want to serve God with you. Please see Pastor Monica after this service. And those that have any inquiry also see her. She will be able to guide you and direct you appropriately, appropriately in Jesus name. And for the international partners, you can see uh, Minister Frank and he will be able to guide you and direct you in the name of Jesus. See Minister Frank and God will be able to bless you. Shout amen. 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 Look at your neighbor, tell them Jesus, Jesus. Is, taking the wheel. is taking the wheel. Come on, just lift your hands and say, Jesus, Jesus. Take, the wheel. take the wheel. When you don't know what to do, just say, Jesus, Jesus. Take, the wheel. take the wheel. When you find yourself in a crisis, say, Jesus, Jesus. Take, the wheel. take the wheel. He's taking the wheel. I sense it in my heart. God is turning every mess into a message. Amen. God is turning every mess into a miracle. Amen. Jesus is taking the wheel. Yes. Jesus is changing even those that you thought could not change in your family. Mm -hmm. Salvation is knocking in your house. Amen. Hold your phone, your documents, the pictures of your loved ones. Those that are watching us live, hold your oil. I want to sign off to the online church. Online church, remember tonight, midnight, East African time. You have an appointment with destiny. I want to speak also one-on-one -on -one to 20. 21 people, one on one via video call. I see your face, I see your case. I see your case, I prophesy. When God schedules your deliverance, he schedules your deliverer. Don't suffer while grace is still available. So tonight we are going to have a midnight prayer. Monday we are going to have also 10 p.m. East African time. And Tuesday also, 10 p.m. East African time. I don't want you to miss this moment of destiny. I am anointed because of you. So connect to collect. Somebody tell your neighbor, connect. To collect. Connect to collect. I pray for your oil, those that are at home in their offices, in their car. As you use that oil, may God clothe you with his power, with his glory, with his favor. May Jesus take the wheel. Shalom, shalom, online church. Amen. She Natasha Kame, a woman gifted and anointed with a strong prophetic unction and destiny changing Monday. I speak as an oracle. Whatever the devil has taken from you, from your family, from your children. Jesus. I declare restoration.